Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we'll do a detailed FAQ on the Redmi Y3. So, Redmi Y3 is the latest smartphone under the Y series, and this comes with a 32 megapixel selfie camera, which is first of its kind in the sub 10k price segment. And uh, we'll talk about uh, the FAQs of this device. So, generally, we do a lot of videos on uh, FAQs of the newly launched devices. So, here again, we'll cover the FAQ with a 15 point uh, questions, uh, and uh, we'll see what all the features it offers, what all are the functions, uh, and uh, we'll also include the performance aspect, the gaming aspect. So let's get started with uh, the detailed FAQ. So starting uh, before starting the FAQ, this device is priced 9 triple nine and 11 triple nine for the two variants, and uh, this will go on sale next week. So the Redmi Y3 is the first smartphone with a 32 megapixel selfie camera below the 10K price segment. So let's get started with the FAQ. First up, let's have a look at the sensors available on this device. So you can see that uh, this device comes with all the basic sensors, uh, accelerometer, gyroscope, magnetic sensor, proximity, light and all the basic sensors are included on the Redmi Y3. Now next talking about the display. The device comes with a 6.26 inches uh, HD plus resolution display and you can actually see the display quality is quite good uh, for the price segment. You can see that uh, the colors are pretty much vibrant uh, for the HD plus resolution display. The touch response feels quite smooth and the viewing angles are also quite good. It's an IPS LCD panel on the Redmi Y3. Now apart from that uh, this device also comes with a dot notch. Uh, you can see that the notch uh, is quite small. It's a kind of water drop notch and uh, this has the 32 megapixel selfie camera in the notch area and apart from that this device also comes with Gorilla Glass 5 protection for the display which makes it even better because uh, most of your smartphones uh, in the budget segment or even in the 10k price segment do not offer Gorilla Glass 5 that's something which is pretty good on the Redmi Y3 now this device comes with dual sim card support and there is a dedicated SD card slot included so uh, the sim card slot is on the left side of the device and this is the dedicated SD card slot included so you can use two sim card and an SD card simultaneously and both the sim cards supports dual OT out of the box. Now storage variants. So this device is offered in two storage variants. So one is 32 gigabyte storage and one is 64 gigabyte storage. We have the three gigabyte RAM and a 32 gigabyte storage. The other variant is four gigabyte RAM and 64 gigabyte storage. And in case you want to expand the storage, you have the micro SD card expansion slot. Now talking about the fingerprint scanner. So we'll just test the fingerprint scanner performance. Uh, so there you go. So you can see that it's uh, pretty fast and accurate, quite similar to any other Redmi smartphone. So a uh, fingerprint scanner performance is really good. Now let's have a look at the face unlock. So let's just test the face unlock. So you can see that again, uh, it's quite fast uh, face unlock. So there you go. So that's the face unlock on the Redmi Y3. Now talking about the software. So this device uh, comes with uh, the MIUI 10 update. So we have the MIUI 10 on this device and uh, this is the MIUI 10 global variant. And uh, this has uh, Android 9.0 out of the box. So that's the software uh, running on this device. So you can see that the MIUI 10 and uh, this is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 632 octa-core processor. Now talking about the software, you get all the features included, including the, uh, the dual app support. Uh, then uh, you get a uh, second space, uh, gesture support, uh, support for themes, app lock via fingerprint scanner. So whole feature, whole lot of features uh, you generally get uh, on uh, the Xiaomi smartphone, you get here as well. Now talking about the ads on this device, yes, this device does have support, uh, it does have ads uh, in the UI. Here and there you can see some ads, especially when you install the app, you can see that screen wherein you can see ads. Here and there definitely you can see some ads. So there are ads on uh, the MIUI 10 on the Redmi Y3. Now talking about the performance. So this device, uh, as I said before, has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 632 octa-core processor. And uh, this is a good processor. We have seen uh, this on the Honor 8C as well. And uh, this is coupled with either uh, three gigabyte RAM or four gigabyte RAM. And the performance is uh, pretty good and effortless. And it uh, it is uh, quite a decent performer here. In day to day task, we did not see any sort of issues, even uh, in terms of the gaming experience with PUBG Mobile. It was pretty smooth experience and no lags whatsoever. And uh, for the price segment, it is being offered. Uh, this is definitely good performance on the Redmi Y3. So performance is not an issue on the Redmi Y3. Now talking about the battery. So this device comes with a 4000 mAh capacity battery and this has a standard 10 watt charging. So with the 10 watt charging, it takes more than two and a half hours to charge the device. So that's uh, 
quite a long time to charge the device almost like we uh, we took uh, around uh, 2 hours 40 minutes or so to charge the device with the standard charger and uh, the screen on time uh, is pretty good you can get around uh, 7 hours of screen on time easily on this device because uh, it has an HD plus resolution display and the battery life is really good on the uh, Redmi Y3. Now talking about the speaker performance, so we'll just play a, a song uh, from uh, the YouTube uh, library uh, to show you uh, some uh, uh, the sound output, uh, so there you go. So you can see that the sound output is quite loud enough uh, for uh, the price segment. Uh, so it is it is quite a decent performer in terms of speaker performance. Uh, not bad uh, we would say and uh, the EP sound is again uh, quite uh, good and we did not see any sort of issues with calls and the network strength was also pretty good. Now a lot of you have been asking us uh, regarding the LED notification available on this device so we will just connect a charger. So this is the LED notification available below. It's very small. It's very difficult to find actually. When you charge the device, you get to see this LED notification. So that's the LED notification on the Redmi Y3. So USB OTG functionality. So similar to any uh, Redmi smartphone or Xiaomi smartphone, this device also comes with a uh, USB OTG functionality and you can just connect your pen drive uh, with uh, the OTG cable and uh, access all the uh, files in the uh, phone. Now uh, talking about the camera quality, so that's something uh, which is uh, really good on this device, especially the front camera, that's the special, the 32 megapixel selfie camera, does a pretty good job here and uh, here are some samples we have taken uh, with uh, the Redmi Y3, the selfie set turned out to be pretty good, the rear camera performance you would say it's quite an average performer, uh, it may not be the best out there but still uh, it uh, does a decent package overall with the selfie camera and uh, it's more of a selfie centric smartphone uh, instead of a rear camera smartphone, so if you are more into selfie Selfies, uh, the Redmi Y3 does a quite good job uh, with the selfie department. We will be coming up with a detailed uh, camera review of this device so stay tuned for that. Now for people who are looking uh, at uh, camera to API support on uh, uh, the Redmi Y3 you can see that the hardware level support is level 3 so that's the support available on the uh, Redmi Y3. So that was a detailed FAQ of uh, the Redmi Y3. So hope uh, we have answered all of your questions. So if you still have anything to ask, you can just drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your questions. So this is Nirmal signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.